We seriously need to get. <laughs> what happened, hon? It what? The last time I used it, it was together. Was it? <laughs> you have children with long legs that knee it in the back seat and stuff trash down in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a a new next exit book. Father's Day tomorrow. Oh, you want a new exit book for Father's Day? I've just the last six times you've pulled it out, you've said we'd need a new one, and I figured you needed an excuse, so there you go. This is home to the Tennessee Smokies baseball team. We were gonna stop at that Cracker Barrel right there to eat, but there was a really long line coming out the door. So I thought we would take a look up here since it's not open and what's with all the tiny little cones? That's like every other? It is, it's every other parking spot. So you can sit here and watch the concert in your, from your car. Uh-huh, he's talking about some little stage over there. So yeah, every other parking spot is blocked off. We're gonna take a little look at the stadium. So this is an affiliate of, I don't even wanna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm just gonna let you read the sign because I'm not gonna say that team's name. Little sign telling you how many miles it is to certain, well, let's see, Myrtle Beach up there, Arizona, uh, something emeralds actually the kids and i have been to a ball game here but it's been like oh my gosh it's been 15 years or more maybe about 15 years no not 15 because lakeland was born right oh i don't even know how long it was this is a non-smoking facility by the way Woodland land design. So in the brick here, there's a T and an S. Oh my gosh, you hear all the birds? It's so weird. I've never been like to a baseball park and it'd be completely empty. You know, because I've always been here to see a game. And look, there's my driver. Actually, I drove the first hour of the trip, but he's now the driver because there could be stuff I want to vlog. These little signs here say deliveries only, office closed to the public. Let's go take a look at little souvenir shop here. The visitor center. Got some pointy fingers because we know everyone needs a pointy finger at a baseball game. Food and drinks prohibited in the team store. And this is our destination for today. Well, after we eat. We're hoping this Cracker Barrel won't be quite as busy because it's not on the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge exit. Um, oh, there's a line of people waiting just to check in, but it still doesn't look as busy as the other one. Well, we nixed that. Tom wasn't comfortable because all the people in line were not wearing masks. So the only other place that's not a fast food place near here is Ar Aubrey's. Um, never heard of it, but we're going to try this out. Oh, yeah. 
they give you bread, a Granny Smith steak salad. Ah, Tom's liking the sound of that. So they're playing 80s music in the background, which I'm loving. They give you bread. Let's just admire the artwork right now. The um, Smurf is awesome. And then over here, we have Coca-Cola Red Sox dude. Why Red Sox? Um, Thunder Road. Best burger in town. Simply marvelous. I mean, this guy, this Chris Power guy, he did a really good job. So as you can see, they've spread everybody out. It's not tremendously busy. I'm actually kind of glad that Cracker Barrel was yeah, busy was say, because they, they had a really nice looking menu. Yeah. The food I saw coming out of the kitchen looked good. Everyone's in mask yeah. and it's clean it's good seating and we normally like to stay at mom and, i mean eat at mom and pop places well this isn't necessarily mom and pop it's a franchise but new places to us um let's do mr t over here is that mr t no that's not mr t i don't know who that is um but tom wasn't quite comfortable with mom and pops yet so um he kind of looks like Mr. T. Mr. T. It's Lipton T. <laughs> well, why is he wearing a spectacle of, uh, what's those things called? The glass, the monocle. eye. Yeah, monocle. Because he's drinking tea. It's the formal British looking Mr. Mr. T. <laughs> yeah. I was curious if there was anything on the back, and there are. So there's another one. And then Kraft Mayo has olive oil on it, which makes sense. Although in the South, we normally eat Duke's mayonnaise. All right, I'm gonna vlog Tom first so he can eat. He got the ca <laughs> Cajun chicken sandwich. And I got a vegetable plate. I'm so excited. So sauteed mushrooms, macaroni and cheese, a white bean and chicken chili soup, and which counts as a vegetable, and squash casserole. These are almost like Shakey's Mojo's. Shakey's Mojo's? Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. What are they? They're just thick potatoes, thick, thick sliced fried potatoes with something to dip them in. Shakey's was a pizza place up in Wisconsin. Okay, then exactly. How would I know that? You travel a lot. Never to Wisconsin. <laughs> be coming back here there wasn't anything that we didn't like a little backstory so um, University of Tennessee graduate opened this store in 1992 well not this one but the original one um, there's 14 locations but they're only in Tennessee now the artist Chris Powers used to work for them but he still does those chalk drawings for all the new locations and he some some of them he comes up you know with his own some the owner um, wants him to do and then some he does for as advertisement to some of Aubrey's oh, yeah. vendors so if I was doing like a Disney dining review I would definitely be giving this place a two ears up but it's not a Disney dining review so thumbs up for this restaurant oh and thumbs up for this video come right out of the restaurant parking lot and basically turn right into the lazy day dead in <laughs> lazy day rv um sales and uh service place another thing you if you have seen our first rv first and second rv um like video <gasps> look we're gonna look in there um, this park looks, I don't know, does this park look bigger? I think this park looks, well, I won't say park, but sales. It looks like they have more options on what they sell. Like a more variety of Camping World. Like our local Camping World. So Tom is going to be the glove wearer of the day so that he can open all the vehicles that we go into um, in a sanitized way. All right, looks like we're going to look at the Tiffin Wayfarer first. 
I'm liking that it's not white. Although the box like lines, not totally a fan of. Space. So this is actually a class C. Oh, the inside's all nice. Look at those seats. It's got that new RV smell. Hmm. Is it new? Yeah. It just, wow. I stepped on this and it's very cushiony. Oh, table can go here. So I noticed something in this. When you got in, like the whole vehicle moved. Oh, that, then we can't get this. <laughs> Look at that Mercedes Benz showing up here. Nice. Slide that you could use if you wanted to, but you don't have to. Yeah, I mean, this is a slide, but there's still plenty of room to get around and just, yeah, I mean, why would you even put the slide out? Unless these are recliners. They are. I think they are, yeah. This one's got two beds. It looks like, and you can make into one big one. You would just put these things over oh. this. Sorry, hon, I'm stepping on your feet. And storage underneath. Oh, look at the little baby drawers. They really, adorable. <laughs> they really like maximized the space. Oh, yeah, yeah lots of storage. These are hanging closets for shirts. And oh stuff. my gosh, they are. Whoa, it's an actual shower. Oh, it's an actual shower. That's nice. I'm supposed to get in, right? Oh, look, towel rack already on the door. You've got plenty of room. I mean, for us, you know, for this. Yeah, that's good. Oh, nice. It is so hot. It's 99 degrees in here. <laughs> yep, yep, All right, let's. So, hold well, look at that cute little baby sink. Actually, this is really nice. I don't think I've seen one this small that has like all these little cabinets. Oh, this whole thing goes out. Okay. Here. Even the refrigerator goes yeah. out. Yeah. This one's not. Does it say a price? Forty-five. Something. One forty-seven. No, one forty-six. One forty-six something. It's right here. Ring license. One forty-six nine forty-seven fifty. Suggested retail price. Wow, it's nice. Oh, All right, we're going to look at the Ram Promaster Tol Tolaro. All right. It doesn't have the fancy door, but hopefully it doesn't have the fancy price either. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so basically this this is the first time we've been in something like this. Ah! Look at this. this Wait a minute. Oh. That's nice, screen. Mm -hmm. So this is, this, I can't see up here, so I'm just gonna show the cam, put the camera, but for extra sleeping. Ah. And sunroof up there, little ladder. I'm, I know this is kind of tight, but <laughs> this is nice, because two more people could actually sit here, mm -hmm. small people. <laughs> um, oh, that's because I'm not stepping on the actual, no wonder. <laughs> I was like, ooh, why am I about to fall? Because like, I was stepping on that. So. This is nice little workspace. Okay, here's our price. One, one oh six or eight or four. <laughs> That's how much this is. Thor motor co coach. Like, look, even headrest right there, it's nice. So what, it, which is it? One oh six five fifty seven. Base price of 92 eight. 13.7 in options. Oh, so this one's Ooh, more decked the, out. Oh, the, so the roof, this area here is the option. The oh. retractable roof sleeping area. So, so 90, would you say 92 without that? Uh, yep, 92.8 without that. Okay. Look how my feet are like, see how cushiony that is? It's uh -huh. going down. It's like an extra, oh, that's because there's a mat on there. I just slipped. Mm -hmm. Okay, got to see how I feel in this. How do you feel, honey, as a passenger? 
I don't know. This is kind of big for you to be driving around in. I... Oh yeah, because I don't drive a Suburban. Yeah. This is nice. I like this. Oh. Wow, you could probably fit 3,600 napkins. napkins up there. God, Tom's, awesome. Tom's pet peeve of Dana. I use these for napkins, straws, and papers, and that is it. And it drives him insane. Yeah, I, call me crazy, but I use them as sun visors. Wet bath. And your sink pulls down right here. Oh, but this is different. It actually has little, I mean, only when you were parked could you put things here. They'd fall. There's a lot of headroom in here, but I mean, it's we're not, fine. For what we would need it for, it's fine. Ooh, that's all. I don't even need a stove. Microwave's all I need. Oh, this is nice. Uh, this is good. So when you're not sleeping, this moves there's more cabinets and drawers down there and you can get to the um the back cargo so if you needed to put stuff here can you even shut the door because i'm lakeland's even taller than you can you move to like can you move at all to like wash your hair your arms i'm a little bit more concerned with sitting down and peeing well, honey, we'll just have to leave it open to do that. And why would you sit down to pee? You have that option. What about me? Because I thought that was nicer than sitting down and pooping and recording <laughs> that on the vlog. This is our channel, hon. We can say poop. We talk about bathrooms here. Oh, that's nice. That way you don't have to, like, move Simple the stuff. Yeah. yeah. This is nice. This turns around. This is a swivel seat. That's good. Okay, I'm really liking the color of this one. That is probably... Is that standard? As far as we need to go. That, that oh. was listed as an extra. Oh. The extra was the pop-up. Oh. So, yeah, I really like the fact that we can get through, put suitcases here. Oh, even more. Can you open that, please? Yeah. I can't say that I've ever seen a giant inflatable Frosty before. This place, the old Tennessee distillery, is next door to a place we want to stop. So, we're going to check this place out. Oh gosh, it smells funny in here. Oh, because of the pandemic, you're limited to how many, and there's no tours. They normally have tours. They do have um, markers on which way to walk. So not busy in here, which is good. Wow, I know it's like, why wouldn't I smell it? But to walk in and just kind of smell all the whiskey is just like, because of their taste, their taste testing over there. It like, oh, I love this. It's an old door for the flight, and then they have the flight trays. I love this idea. Ooh, honey, I like this bottle for um, for decorating purposes, so can you buy it? So there's a story behind this one. So he was the owner of a successful chain of saloons back in the day. Okay, buddy. This is cool a cool t-shirt when the moon comes up the shine comes out <laughs> what's the front dumpling creek i always find these uh contraptions here awesome they just remind me of steampunk so i think that's why i like them so much okay this is really cool i like how they've decorated this the old pictures Oh my gosh, this beats all. You can put a sippy cup, like a lid, on top of the moonshine jar. $2.99. As Tom puts his whiskey away, his rum, sorry, rum away, um, we're going into the chocolate monkey. We're in the mood for something sweet. And it's open. Look at the little monkey. Can you see him? There you go. So much to choose from. Oh my goodness. I love these. 
they have cool um, names like Tom is getting the jacked up Tennessee toffee I'm gonna get the amaretto cherry this is definitely a monkey lovers heaven Look at the old counter. The old lunch counter. I like the colors. Yeah, we're gonna sit out here. Nobody else is out here. Looks like, I don't know if that's advertising or if they go to fairs with that truck and serve out of it. But actually, I mean, nice view of the highway. Got a Harley Davidson shop over there, a Bass Pro shop. So many stuffed monkeys in there. I would definitely get this flavor again. It's really good and Tom's enjoying his. He says, it's intense. Alrighty, now we are headed towards Cherokee. Notice the further away they are. I mean, it's like two different sets. I don't know if it comes as clear on camera though. You can see all the greenery here, but then they just kind of get blue and misty. Kind of blue or smoky or something. Mm-hmm. Blue Ridge Mountains, Smoky Mountains. This spot looks very familiar. Oh, it's one of your personal favorites, isn't it? I just realized this. So we're at this rest area that just is the um, North Carolina Welcome Center. And um, it's been closed for a while. And when we pulled up and I kind of looked right here, I remembered something. So I spent plenty of time actually I think somewhere right through here, it's probably right there, on that hill growing up. <laughs> right? It was horrible, guys. It was yeah, so yeah, horrible. It, it really was. It really was. It took us, so it's a two-hour drive from Dollywood, and how long did it take us to actually get home? Because he kept having to stop so I could throw up. And that instant, instance is why I can no longer have, like, Cinnabons, because... We're not, something with my sugar got messed up at Dollywood and all I had to drink that whole day was soda because we had a refillable thing and we ate these big, huge, like cinnamon loaf things. They were just like giant Cinnabons, but they were like in a loaf and it just got too much from my sugar or something and I was so sick. We had to leave early and everything and we had to keep stopping so that I could be sick and yep I remember this hill I sat right down there and normally it's a nice area for people to go walk their dogs but that's not what I was using it for you know this is pretty fancy for a rest area oh welcome center you even have a bear statue see now people are actually uh using this area to rest, stretch their feet. Let's get out of the car for a while. Did you rob a bank? Hey, don't show anybody the serial numbers. They're, these are just like credit cards. If you got the numbers, you can use them. <laughs> in this oops sorry this entrance anymore because they're working on this new parking deck huh 
So the reason we are here is just to kind of be the guinea pigs for you guys. We're going to feel out the casino. Somebody that Tom works with said that there's not a lot of people. They're spacing, what did you say, every third? Third machine, yeah, they've got every, for every machine they've got on, the next two on either side of it are shut off. Ooh, so yeah, let's hope there's not a lot of people because that's really cutting down. And the best part, it is now non-smoking, which thrills us. Um, we did bring gloves. So we'll be touching the machine. We won't be touching the machine with our bare hands and we're not gonna stay too long. I'm actually not taking the camera in this time because it's just something else that could be contaminated. But I'll take um, some pictures and insert them. surprised that we didn't see anybody else wearing gloves <laughs> like nobody and there wasn't enough hand sanitizer stations to um, warrant that. yes exactly warrant that I wouldn't come on a weekend again there's still a few too many people in there for my comfort level yeah it wasn't it wasn't, much, it wasn't horrible. Social Most people were kind of, sort of trying. Yeah, um, but and it, and nearly everyone was wearing masks. Every now and then, someone would pull their face mask down to talk to somebody next to them. But almost yeah, everybody, everybody was. had them so, on, and so there that, was a lot was of good. space in between. Um, open machines. Yeah, there were never two machines next yeah. to each other unless they were like around a, like a, a roundabout in a circle thing. type of thing. Yeah. So, so that wasn't too bad. No, no, not too bad. But oh, and they do have great. a smoking section in this one circular section of, like underneath these stairs away from everybody else. So, um. Yeah, there's a little smoky smell yeah, in there, but, not but it's bad. not at the machines, thankfully. Mm -hmm. All right, so we hope that you subscribe and become part of the Whirlwind family and into the next vlog.